So we've been talking about Blender 5.0 for a bit and the official beta finally dropped last week and people are downloading it and discovering all the goodies. And there are the expected updates that we've been hearing about like ACES 2.0 color management, cycles improvements with thin film iridescence, multi-bounce subsurface scattering, random walk and new compositor presets. But there's a lot more coming to version 5.0 as it seems. The geometry nodes UI got significant improvements that geometry node nerds will love. More importantly, there's a new array tool that replicates Cinema 4D MoGraph style cloner tools via a Geonodes preset that allows allows you to clone things linearly, circularly, in spirals, plus scatter on surface and paint on surface via an image map. There's pipe along curve, lattice deform selections, and this is the first time I've seen mention of a new storyboarding template with different markers, plus new pixel art brushes. So now that people have their hands on the official beta and it's no longer, you know, janky crashy alpha stage, it's been really cool seeing all these artists experiment with it and reveal all the little updates in Blender looks to be out of beta and officially drop on November 11th.